How's it going, team kids? This is the weekend preview video for September 7th and 8th, which is also our fall kickoff weekend, which I believe is the name that we're going with. There's been so many different names that we've called this event over the course of the last four years. We had Summer's End, we had Ice Cream Fun Day, we had all these names, but the idea is this. The consistent theme is that we are going to have a celebration this weekend. And what we're gonna be celebrating is the transition from summer into fall. And for a lot of the uh, families that we're going to be serving, uh, this is a huge transition. Um, and some of you are in the midst of that transition and you are celebrating as well. This is something to celebrate. Um, and, and so we're going to do that this weekend by having a, a blast. We're gonna have a couple of inflatables set up outside. We're going to um, honor God through uh, through worshiping Him, and uh, and then just celebrating what's going on in our lives. and uh, And the reason why we're doing this is because the Bible commands us. Actually, God calls His people to celebration and to enjoy him and enjoy the things that he has been faithful to do. Um, and so there's plenty of things to, to celebrate what God has done over the course of the year, over the course of the summer, um, whatever is happening in our lives, there are plenty of things to be celebrating. It's a discipline because God wants us to enjoy life with him. And, uh, and so this, this season of celebration is going to be um, a spiritual thing as well as it is a, a fun, emotional a fun group experience for, for these kids. Um, and so one of the things that we are going to do though, um, is we're going to, uh, can, we're going to still do worship. We'll start class with that. And then we're going to do a brief conversational prayer exercise before we transition outside and play on the toys. Um, and the reason why we're going to be doing that uh, conversational prayer um, opportunity with our small groups is because one, it's a great way to, uh, to, to consecrate, which is a word that, that is, uh, is used more in the Bible than in common language, but it's going to, it's going to be a word that we're going to emphasize because we are dedicating this, this fall, we're dedicating our lives to God. And one of the ways to do that is through prayer. And so we're going to give the kids and the groups about like five to 10 minutes to just talk together, have a conversation together about some fun things that are coming up in the fall, some challenging things that are coming up in the fall, and then just bring God into that conversation. And so I'm going to explain what conversational prayer is in big group time right after worship. Um, just give a brief overview, and then I'll, I'll leave up on the screen just a couple of general prompts for us to use to, um, to pray over. And, uh, and my hope is that uh, it, will, it will stay conversational, that we can just engage these kids, we can talk with these kids, but we can model for them what it looks like to just bring God into the conversation. And so we're trying to emphasize this because it's such a valuable way to uh, encourage kids to see how we can bring God with us into everything that we do. Um, the more we can disarm the overly spiritual side of, of, of prayer and help the kids see that I can bring God with me wherever I go and I can talk with him wherever I go, emphasizes the importance of what relationship with God is all about. And so we're going to, um, we're going to talk through that. I'll give instructions on what conversational prayer is. And there's also going to be a video attached with this email um, that Pastor Joe's put together on conversational prayer. So if you want to refresh your mind on what that is, that video will be a good resource for you. We won't be doing any loop show content. Actually, the, the structure of the service will look exactly like this. We'll check in, do free time, worship right at the top of the hour, and then we'll do the big group time, conversational prayer, and then head outside for the last part of the service. And it will be a shorter service, so we'll get about 25 minutes outside to let the kids play, um, and then come back up to class and check out. And, uh, and they'll have time after the service to go out and play with their families. Um, if, uh, if that's okay with their families. So, um, so that is what's going to be going on this weekend. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, one last thing is something that you all may have received an email for, um, and that's a training that we have coming up on September 22nd. 
We're putting together a training to go along with the missions groups and rooted groups to kind of cast a, a vision for why we do groups and the value that that brings to our discipleship process here at Life Center and how kids is a huge part of that. Helping kids find and follow Jesus is um, is a is a thing that we want. It's our mission. It's what we want to accomplish here at Life Center, and we do that primarily through groups. and uh, And so we hope to equip you and uh, encourage you and support you in your role as you lead kids to find and follow Jesus. So that's coming up on, se on September 22nd, and that's at 1230 right after the service. Um, so if you can uh, put that in your calendar, that'd be great. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend. That's all I have. I will talk to you later.